Let's set up your green screen in OBS so that it goes from looking like this to something much better like this. Firstly, inside OBS, make sure you add a camera source. Underneath sources, click the plus button, click on video capture device. You can leave it saying video capture device or change its name. Click OK when you're happy. OBS will often select the wrong camera and it will often give you the wrong settings. So click to find the correct camera. Now I've got the correct camera. It's only in 480p. So I'm going to change the resolution FPS type to custom. And underneath resolution, I'm changing it to 1080p. And underneath FPS, I'll set it to 60. And I'll press OK to save the changes. You might already have your camera added. So if you want to get to those properties, just double click the source and it will open them. Now you can probably see on my camera shot, my background is well lit. This is the key thing that makes the difference between a green screen looking good and looking bad. Of course, the quality of your camera or webcam can also help. In the description, I'll link both my camera and the Elgato key light that I'm using. Anyway, let's get our green screen removed. And before I remove the green screen, if you're like me, if part of your camera shot, which is this part, is not covered by the green screen, then I'm going to click on the source. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm just going to drag the square until it's just my green screen cropped. Now I'm ready, I'm going to right click and click on filters and underneath effects filter, I'm going to press the plus button and choose the chroma key option. We can leave it named chroma key and press OK. Now for you, depending on how good your lighting is, these default options might be fine. What we need to do for me is make a few tweaks. You probably need to make them as well. Typically, it's just these top three that you need to change. Similarity, smoothness, and key color spill reduction. Now, I already know for me some pretty good settings. So let me try them, see if they work. I'm going to try 460 here. I'm going to try smoothness around about 50. And I'll try key spill color reduction of one for me. Now, you can see it's on a black background. But for me, that looks good. So I'll press close. And of course, our green screen effect is now working. You can click on the source and drag the corners to resize yourself if you want to. But let's quickly look at how to add a background in. Now, obviously, it's underneath sources here. You can press the plus button. If you just want to add your computer display, add a display capture. If you want to use this scene as your webcam, then either add an image or a media source. You saw earlier on, I had a media source. So I'll click on media source. I'll click OK. I'll set it to loop. I'll click browse to find the file I want. I'll choose the file. I'll press OK. Now I've disappeared because the order of the sources matters. So underneath sources, just drag your image or media source underneath the camera. And if I just click to the side, you can see now I've got a great looking green screen and a great looking background.